All right, I have returned with the Commodore 64. And um, I've got more stuff plugged into it. Specifically, I've got, a, I've got an AV cable, got a HDMI box. I bought these from 8-Bit Classics. They're pretty awesome. And this is basically just a little HDMI positive converter box. And I stole the, AV, the HDMI cable from my Nintendo Switch. So I'm just going to plug that in there. And... Um, yeah, let's see. Let me get it good. Yeah, as deep as it goes. As far as it goes in. Nope, it goes in farther. Yep. And, of course, that's not all. I've also got the power supply, which I just remembered it goes in the side. And then over here, here's the brick. I got one from Electroware. Already got plugged in. And this is the brick. I got it on top of my printer because I'm kind of running low on space. But if I just let's see, I'm gonna put you there. And so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn my TV on. And then I need to put this. You plug this into this port on the side. Okay, that goes upside down, okay. Can't seem to get it to line up. Okay, now let's put it above the giant thick cables. Like, literally, all of these have really thick cables. I don't know why. But they're just extremely thick. And yeah, we're just gonna put it in. It fits. Yep, it goes all the way in. And now... Smoke test, smoke test number one. Alright. Green light in there. Now. Right. It's on. Did we get do we get the signal? Does this Oh this needs USB power. I totally forgot that. Okay. Give me a second while I find a way to hook this up. Actually, you know what? I don't need my I don't need my phone charger at the moment. So I can just plug this into my lamp. Because uh, yes, I have a USB port in my lamp. How times have changed. <laughs> This little pop figure that my friend gave me up there, and I'm just gonna see if I can get that in there. Going that way, yeah. Yeah, that's with okay. 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 Well, we we've got something. We've got something. Uh, it has given us a giant blue screen, and now we can turn on the Commodore 64, and we're going to get another blue screen. Yes! Oh, that... Oh, wait, that's just... It's a little blurry. If I get it and turn it to 720p, that might be a little better. Um, well, it could be, it could be better... It looks good enough from here. Maybe I should have just used AV. But, you know what? Oh, there we go. Shift 2. Okay. 
because this is awesome. Then just run. Awesome. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I've got to agree with that and then do run stop. Breaking 10. That's awesome. And then let's see. Let's do shift. Oh, shift clear. Awesome. Okay, now what? Now what do we do? We've got to try the, um, what's it? Gotta try a random maze program, but I, like, I can't do it on my phone. I'm recording. I'm not, okay, actually, I can do it on my phone. But, I'd have to stop the recording real quick. So, but luckily I have OpenShot on my laptop and I need to start learning how to use that. So, let's... Let's just, let's just, let's just do it. Yeah, I gotta type it out. So let's, let's see if I typed it incorrectly. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I just copied this wholesale off of an 8 bit guy video. <laughs> yeah, I just replaced like backslash and front slash with, uh, you know, the, the pet ski characters on the keyboard. Like, this is awesome. The only thing I wish is that wasn't, like, blurry. Like, that's the main thing. But, I mean, that's... That's what, that's what you get whenever you're converting composite and HDMI, I guess. You're gonna get some blurriness and some just weird stuff. But, yes, I'm, I'm gonna... There we go. Break in 10. Um, do shift. Clear home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do the, let's see. How am I gonna do this? All right. Gonna hold down restore. I'm gonna hit. Uh, how do I do this? Run, like it's like, run stop. Rest how do I do this? Um. How do I, like, do a soft reset? And it's off. And it's on. It's pretty awesome. It looks, it looks clearer on the camera than it does in real life, because, like, there's little, like, artifacts, like, there, and there, there, there. Like, in between all the characters where there's just only one space, it's, like, a little artifacting. Um, but, yeah, this is, this is awesome. I got a working C64. That's awesome. Spacebar could use a little work, yeah. There's, like, a certain... Yeah, like consistently hit it in the middle in order to get a space. Of course, what you could just do. Yeah, this is awesome. And then, of course, you got the little chunky boy. Little bitty chunky boy. This is the guy that makes it all possible. Good, good little chunky boy. <laughs> yeah, that guy just got here today, all the way from Poland. Had to freaking use a knife to get him out of there, but <laughs> it was a uh, not exactly intuitive. With packaging, uh, whatever. I don't even know why I typed in the load command, but I'm. Um, I don't have a. I don't have like a storage device for this thing. 
I was gonna get like an SD to IEC, but that, those are kind of expensive. Whenever you like, it would cost like they would cost like a little bit more than this machine or to get an SD to IEC after converting from British pounds to uh, US dollars. So yeah. But yeah, I need to get some sort of storage device for this. So then. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's the nonsense that I typed. Type mismatch error. Oof. An idea. Make use of that. Ready. <laughs> of course, I can just uh, kind of do that. Oh. Out of data. <laughs> Out of data error. I wonder what would happen if I did just type load. It would probably try to load from the freaking cassette. I mean, technically, I have the cassette thing. I watched the whole freaking video on like how you can use your phone as a like a data like a data set. Uh, of course, my phone doesn't have a freaking headphone jack, so you know, screw you, Apple. <laughs> but um, Oh, and then there's like the little function keys. They do absolutely nothing. How do I do the freaking, uh, like soft reset thing? Like, wasn't it like run stop followed by like restore? Or like both holding, holding them down? Yeah. Trying to. It's not working. Like what? Like what's the restore key even for? Control two. There we go. Now it's white colored, so it's easier to see. Syntax error. Okay. Okay, how about this? Let's do a variable, we'll call it uh okay. we'll call it as and it's gonna be equal to forty two. Ready. And now the print print syntax error okay okay then how to how to, how to handle the one <laughs> okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this out real quick yeah. if only have like I'm not using it for anything else. I can just put my phone charger like this. And. Oh, right. It's, um. All right, give me a second. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now I can. If I can get rid of the. Right. Okay. 
and get the like cables to just leave. There we go. I have a bit of a view. Syntax error. It's oh, it's backwards. Oh, it's backwards. The phone, the phone makes all the text go backwards. Well, that's sad. Hmm. Okay. New plan. We're gonna put it back in. Um. There we go. And as far as I can tell, the I get it, like that's like the best, but. So it gets closer and closer to the stand. The stand needs to be located on my bed. Hey, like that's what this this charging stand's real purpose is. It's for a camera. Like, it, like it's like the only thing I have that is like remotely equal to a tripod. Right. There you go. That's a better view, isn't it? It's good enough. <laughs> Alright, uh, what do I do? First of all, I'm clear. Julie. No. I'm gonna put it back on a uh, 10 minute piece. Blur City either way. Actually, I just had an idea. Input settings. HDMI 2. Picture size. And squish it. Can't make it four by three, which kind of sucks. Picture position. I like to like center it a little bit better. That's better. Okay, well, I guess there's only really one thing to do, and that is just type stuff. So the keyboard cooperates. What do I do with... Okay, uh, okay. Where's the freaking... Okay, it's on the 7 for some reason. What's... The best... Way... What's the best way? And that's basically my question for everybody. What what should I do for storage? I don't have a floppy drive. I don't have a SD to IC or anything like that. SD, SD to IC is expensive. I'll probably put like a... I'll probably take a, like a screenshot of like the web page. As well as the conversion from pounds to dollars. Just kind of show how expensive it is. And... Like, remember, I, I, I paid 60 bucks for this. 40 of that was for a machine, 20 was for shipping from California. Also, I'm just gonna hit enter. I know it's going to say. Syntax error! Yay! 
Also, if you couldn't tell, it's raining. It's a lightninging. But um, uh, yeah, I need to get some storage for this. Oh. Apparently, Commodore plus Run Stop opens up the free. It, uh, that automatically does the load command. Hold up, I'm gonna see if I can do that again. Yeah, yeah, that automatically does the load command. If you do Commodore plus Run Stop, it automatically does the load command, and it says press play on tape. I don't have a tape. I don't have a tape deck. I'm not gonna get a tape deck. I have no plans to get a tape deck. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> I can hear train. I can hear the train. But seriously, has anybody else, did anybody else know that? Just Commodore plus run stop, press play on tape. Ooh, I need to get some food. That's what I need to do, I need to get some food. Okay, so I'm, I'm curious. Commodore Shift, yep. That's what that does. Uh, Commodore. Does Commodore Plus something do anything else? Like, I, I, like everybody knows this, but I don't. I've never heard of this shortcut. Like I've never heard of that shortcut for the like the cassette load. So. Are there any other shortcuts that we don't know of on here that involve the combo key? I'm actually, I'm actually very curious right now. Um, I mean, we can, we can try. I mean, I'm honestly tired right now. So, also I'm kind of hungry and it's like 11.43. It's almost noon. So here's, here's what's going to happen. What's going to happen is that we're going to, I'm just going to do this again. Yeah, it, it does, it does that. It does, it does that. I don't know why, but it does that. Then you get the break error if you tap run stop again. Like, is it one stopping clear home? Or? Like, what was the soft reset button? I can't freaking remember. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna leave it off here because it's about like eight minutes by the time I finish the sentence. Boom. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to leave it off here. So, uh, it's just lightning inged. Yeah, I'm going to turn those ACC4 off. <laughs> and I'm going to turn the PSU off. And I'm going to unplug the. AV box. I'm gonna turn off the TV. They only ever really use for Switch games. Yeah, um. Um. I don't like storms. Um. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Subscribe if you want more random crap every day. Not. I don't have a schedule. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, just subscribe if you want more random crap or just more C64 or more computer. More computer. Yeah, that works. Um, if you like the video, hit the button that says like. If you don't, hit, hit dislike. My videos are bleh quality most of the time because I honestly just do not have the energy. <laughs> To just put, like, 
super duper effort into it. I mean, I freaking love this stuff. I like making videos about stuff that I like doing. But I just don't have the freaking energy. <laughs> um, and uh, just comment stuff if you have feedback or suggestions. Or just want to say something that's absolutely freaking stupid. <laughs> like, honestly, I just love stupid, silly stuff. So, just, I don't know. Um, but, yeah. You uh, you have an awesome day. And, um, bye. And now the phone's just gonna click. There we go. There we go. Keyboard. There we go, bye.